Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Saturday, last Saturday, I went to a neighborhood meeting about a house that has been bought by Mr. Isan. Please speak up, please, I can't hear you. Pardon me, are you here? Yes, speak up. Okay. <coughs> and uh, in that meeting, uh, <coughs> I was part of it, there was, we were about a dozen people. And the owner, Ali, I call him Ani, uh, he is very concerned. He bought the lot for the house for about over three hundred thousand dollars. I don't know the detail, but it's already two years, and the thing has been stalled. Mr. Carpio, could I ask you to speak a little louder? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes, <coughs> I'm going to repeat. Last Saturday, I attended a neighborhood meeting in which a property that was bought by Mr. Ali, a developer. He came here several times to have his development, his houses made, and there has been objection, and the city council has turning his request on. My concern is this, is that on Saturday, what I witnessed was this very disturbing to me, and let me tell you how it happened. <coughs> the discussion center over the the size of the building and the height of the building. But the way I saw it, it doesn't matter what Mr. Ali wants to build. There is going to be objection. And <coughs> I ended up asking question to the person who made the strongest objection. And he said, and uh, my question is, if you object so much about the building, why don't you buy the we why didn't you buy the building and made yourself a project instead of always um, you know sabotaging what other people want to do and then his answer was, oh, I try it just didn't work and 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 so my feeling and the feeling of everybody is that that man is making an issue and he's stopping the building development because he's jealous and he's upset that he, he didn't buy the lot. And that's very unfair. This is, is something that is terrible. What I see here is that we have a neighbor that is raising hell for somebody who wants to make a living in building an apartment building, and he's doing it only by hate because he couldn't get the, the property. And that's very unfair. I'm calling on the city council and the planning commission to review that deal. The man need to make money on his investment. It's already almost two years that he bought that. And we cannot allow a rubble rouser, somebody who is mad about it, you know, to stop the project. It's no good. Thank you. Any other says to be heard? Okay, this takes us to a consent calendar. Is there a motion on the I, consent? I'd move the consent calendar, but I'd like to pull item E. Second. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, Ken, John, without exception. No, I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll stay. Okay. Uh, uh, item E. <coughs> uh, the, the concern I have here is, oh, Thank there you are, Dolores. Uh, as I expressed before the meeting, is that the uh, job descriptions, especially for the senior center, are obsolete. And I'm very, re I, I'm fully uh, want to move ahead with changing the job title, but these job descriptions are obsolete and we don't want to in any way uh, enshrine them as being okay. Yes, um, we have been working with the department to get that particular uh, job description updated. Um, the incumbent has additional input to the changes, so rather than hold up the title change, uh, we made a commitment to give her additional time, and we plan to bring back the revised, updated description at another meeting. Dolores, uh, I took liberty at writing a bunch of stuff on this as well, and if you could just take my comments this way, then you could chew on them. And also, I, w I would just uh, offer um, that we take a look at City of Berkeley and City of Fremont's Senior Center job descriptions 
uh, senior center director job descriptions because um, uh, if we're going with kind of an outdated and archaic uh, document, you know, those are two cities that have very vibrant senior center programs and then we could bring it up to date. That, so, that's great, thank you, you for that. Fremont and Berkeley? Fre Fremont oh, and yeah, Berkeley. Absolutely. Right, absolutely. right. This, this particular description is the one on record now, so we didn't change any of the content except for the title and the who it reports to. So I will take that into advisement and pull those descriptions. I have access to them online. That's and great. we will make the changes and bring it back to you at a future meeting. Uh, I move item E and we'll look forward to seeing the revised job changes. Yeah, thank you. Second. Okay, without exception. 